Hello everybody, welcome back to the Tech Super channel. This video is part of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure where I am going to show how do we create users and group under identity domain in OCI. So before you get, before you give access to anybody in OCI, you have to create user for them and you have to assign that user into a group and then later you can assign policies to the group so that your user can access your Oracle Cloud infrastructure. So as part of this video, I am going to show how do we create users and groups in Oracle Cloud infrastructure and how do we assign users and group. So guys, let's get started. And before we start, I will request everyone to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on a bell icon to get regular updates and to get notification directly in your inbox and please be with me till the end of this video to understand the complete steps to create users and group so the objective of this video is to let you know how do we create users in oci how to create groups in oracle cloud infrastructure and how do we assign users to groups so after completing this video you will be able to create groups users and assign users to groups. So let's get started and let's see this thing in action. So assuming we already have our Oracle Cloud infrastructure tenancy, and this is the tenancy that we are going to use to create users and groups. So to create a user, so you must be a administrator of OCI. If you don't have access of the OCI console, you cannot create users and group. That is the first prerequisite. So let's get started and see how do we create users. So click on this navigation menu. Under this, we have an option called identity and security. And you have to go this go to this domain. But if you are using all tenancy, you might not see this domain. You will see the other option called federation. But domain is a new feature. And this is a replacement of federation. But if your customers are using new tenancy, they will find out the option called domains. Click on a domains. So by default, OCI creates a default domain on a root level. And this is my root, root compartment. And you will see this default domain though you can create new domains as well but that's fine let's click on the default domain domain is nothing it is a group of users and groups so in order to create a new user click on a users tab and there you will click on a button called create user so you can give a name here let's say my user first name is tag and the last name is supper now here you need to provide username slash email. So your login username can be both. It can be username as well as the email, but you can keep it separate. Let's say my username 30 at gmail.com, but I don't want to use this as my login user. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy the same and put it over the email for the recovery purpose and simple say, this is my username. This username I am going to use to log in and this email will be used to recover my password. And while you create the user, you can assign cloud account administrator role as well, meaning this guy will become administrator if you click on this. Okay, and while you create the user, you can also assign the groups. But if you don't want to assign users right away, you simply click on a create button. So when you click on a create button, you will find out an email will be triggered on your email address that will be used to log in into the OCI account and simply say click on a create button. Here you can see your username has been created with that OCI, your username, your email, your recovery email. Go back to the default domain and then here you can click on a create groups and let's say create group button. And let me give a group name, let's say OCI group, any name you would like to give, let's say group. And then you can give a description. This is the, this is for OCI box. And while you create the group, you can also say, hey, user can request access. Let's suppose I don't want this checkbox to be enabled. Let's uncheck it. And while you create group, you can also assign users to them. Let's say I would like to assign this 
user for now and let's say create. Now here, what I have done, I have created a group and I have also assigned one user. So now later you would like to assign more users to the group, click on a group and let's say assign users to group and let me assign that as well. Add. So I have assigned two users to this group. So this is how you create groups and users, but it's not completed. How user would know my user is created for that? They will have to log in into their email ID. Let me log in to the email ID. You see, I have received email on this. This is the format, right? And you can see, you can click on activate your account. When you will activate your account, it will ask for the password. You have to enter the password here to activate your user and then confirm it. And then reset password, okay? And reset, right? And here you can use this username password to log in. How do we log in? So this is your tenancy name. You simply go to this cloud.oracle.com, cloud dot oracle dot com to login and you can copy this tenancy name and then next when you click on the next button so you will need to enter your username password which is my tech super 30 and here you see the username and then you have to enter the password that you have changed and this is how you can create users, groups, you can change your password and you can log in. But here I have not assigned any permission to this user. If you will try to access anything, let's say domains, you will receive an error like you are not authorized. Okay, if you will try to go back to some other services, developer service integration, you will see you are not authorized to access this resource because you have not given any permission to this user so to assign the permission you have to create policies that we can discuss in some other video so guys this is how you create users and groups in oracle cloud infrastructure i hope you find this video useful if yes please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates and to learn with taxifer Thank you. Bye-bye.